Why should you be vegan? My name is Claire Wu and I'm a vegan and I just wanted to do a video listing a few of the reasons why we should all just go vegan, stay vegan and educate others about veganism. There are so many reasons to go vegan but I just want to give you a few of the most important ones and just let you see for yourself whether or not veganism is something that you want to get into. So basically the first reason is that everyone thinks it's wrong to cause unnecessary suffering to animals. If I were to ask you, do you think it's wrong to cause unnecessary suffering to animals, of course you'd say yes, it is wrong. And if I were to say, do you agree that the bare minimum of the meaning of the word necessity is that we can't cause unnecessary suffering for reasons of pleasure, habit or convenience. For example, you can't just go out and kick a dog because you like it. You know, that's not a good reason. If I was kicking a dog and you said don't kick the dog and I said I like it, it gives me pleasure to kick the dog. You know, you'd say that's crazy, that's not a good reason to kick the dog and that's not a morally justifiable reason. And neither is habit or convenience. If it was a habit for me to kick a dog, if I'd been kicking a dog for 10 years every day or something, does that make it okay? No, it doesn't. And if it was easy for me to go out and abuse a dog, if I had 10 dogs and it was really convenient to do that, does that make it okay? No. So basically everyone I talk to says, okay, I agree it's wrong to cause unnecessary suffering to animals for reasons of pleasure, habit or convenience which aren't morally justifiable reasons. So I just go on to say, well the weird thing is that 99.99999% of all animal suffering can only be justified by pleasure, habit or convenience, which you just said was wrong. So why is that? Why such a large amount of animal suffering? Because all animal products are unnecessary. All animal products are not necessary for optimal human health. We just simply don't need them and all animal products cause unnecessary suffering. You can't obtain any animal product without causing suffering to the animal. So do you see the self-contradiction? On the one hand, we think it's wrong to cause unnecessary suffering to animals for stupid reasons. Yet on the other hand, the only reasons we have for using any animal product is either because we like it, or because it's easy, or because it's a habit, and we've been doing it all our lives. But you were the one who just said that those aren't good enough reasons. So number one, the first reason why you should be vegan is to resolve this self-contradiction, this sort of moral disconnect. We don't realize that every time we use animals, we are causing unnecessary suffering to animals because animal products aren't necessary. Look at all the vegans in the world who are thriving on a vegan way of life. We don't need animal products to thrive. That's been scientifically proven ages ago. We don't need animal products. Obviously, you don't need to wear leather shoes. You won't die without wearing your woolen jumper or something. I mean, the thing is, we don't need to use animal products. So the first reason you should be vegan is because you also believe that it's wrong to cause unnecessary suffering to animals. So animal products do cause unnecessary suffering to animals. So either just Stop thinking it's wrong to cause unnecessary suffering to animals. Stop thinking it's wrong to go out and kick a dog for no reason. Or you can just go vegan, resolve the self-contradiction, and just become morally consistent in your belief that it's wrong to cause unnecessary suffering to sentient beings. So the second reason why people should be vegan is because discrimination is wrong. I believe that all discrimination is wrong, whether it's racism, sexism, heterosexism, ageism, ableism, you know, all of those things are wrong, and you probably think so too. So the thing to realize is that speciesism is also wrong. So what is speciesism? It's denying the right of any sentient being to not be treated as property based on an irrelevant difference, which is species. So like it doesn't matter whether someone is black or white, or whether someone is male or female, or whether someone is gay or straight, it also doesn't matter morally whether animals are human or non-human. Species doesn't make a difference when it comes to who's involved in the moral community. The thing to realize is that all sentient beings deserve the right to not be property. And the thing about discrimination is that everyone says, oh yeah, discrimination is wrong, discrimination is bad, and we have to end discrimination now. But how many people are actually vegan? How many people realize that using animal products is discriminating towards the animals, ignoring their rights to not be property? The problem with racism, sexism, is that people were the property 
of someone else. Sentient beings were the property of someone else. Black people were the property of white people. Women were the property of men. So as long as we're someone else's property, we can't have rights. It doesn't matter what we want. It only matters what our owners want. So that's the same thing with animals. Non-human animals are the property of us right now, so they can't have their rights respected. And of course we think it's wrong to discriminate. So why are we endorsing discrimination by using animal products? We can only obtain animal products by treating these other sentient beings like they're worthless resources. Like they're things with no feelings, they have no interests, and we're free to just use them however we want and ignore their inherent right to not be property. So I encourage you, if you think it's wrong to cause unnecessary suffering to animals, if you think discrimination is wrong, then please go vegan. And another point is that you can't just think some discrimination is wrong. You have to think that all discrimination is wrong. What if I said to you, racism is wrong but sexism is fine and women are the property of men? That doesn't make any sense because either I don't think discrimination is wrong or I don't think women are the property of men. You can't say discrimination is wrong and still participate in discrimination by endorsing sexism. So likewise, we can't believe that all discrimination is wrong and use animal products because that is participating in speciesism. And speciesism is a form of discrimination just like any other form of discrimination. It doesn't matter whether or not animals are the same species as us. What matters is that they can feel pain, they do have interests, they're sentient and that gives them the right to not be our property. Basically, because they are sentient, because they do have interests, if we're going to ignore those interests, we must have a good reason for just ignoring those interests, their right to not be property. But what is our best reason? It just comes back to my first point, our only reason for using animal products is pleasure, habit or convenience. And don't forget that we're the ones who think that those are not morally justifiable reasons. So the third reason to be vegan is because everyone believes in non-violence. Everyone holds a value of non-violence in their heart. Everyone thinks, wouldn't it be great if we lived in a non-violent world, if violence was a thing of the past and we could just live peacefully together in a world where there is no violence. But the thing is, animal products are products of violence. All animal products cannot be obtained without immense amounts of violence. So the thing is, when we use animal products, we are participating in violence, bringing more violence into the world. And who needs that? We have so much violence in the world already. So I encourage you to realize that animal products can't be obtained without killing an animal at some stage in their life. Whether it's after fattening them up or whether it's after impregnating them and taking away their baby numerous times until their milk production declines, you know, whatever it is, we can't obtain animal products without violence. So if you hold a value of nonviolence, if you think violence is wrong, period, that violence is just wrong and violence is just something that we should try and stop as much as we can in our lives, then I encourage you to just go vegan. Just realize that animal products are not nonviolent, that it's not just like picking an orange from a tree because the tree doesn't feel pain but the animal does feel pain. So using animal products, sure, when you're eating your steak or drinking your glass of milk or wearing your woolen jumper or whatever, it might seem easy to think that this is just a product, this is just a thing that had no feelings, that didn't come from someone who deserved their life just as much as I do, who wanted their life just as much as I do. It's easy to think like that. But if you believe in nonviolence, then just please educate yourself about how much violence is in animal products. And that hopefully will encourage you to go vegan as well. Because when I realized that all animal products are so violent, that they all include suffering, death, you know, it's just something that I didn't want to be a part of. I mean, if you don't want to be a part of violence, then please go vegan because every time we use animal products, we are creating demand for more animals to be killed so that our demands can be met. Every time we use animal products, we are bringing more violence into the world because those animals who are being killed are being killed because people are using their products. 
So those are just three of the most important reasons why you should be vegan right now because you think it's wrong to cause unnecessary suffering to animals, because you think discrimination is wrong, and because you believe in non-violence. Because if everyone just believed in non-violence, we'd have a peaceful world. And I'm sure you already believe in non-violence. So please just sort of resolve this moral disconnect again and realize how much violence is in animal products and realize that animals aren't just things, that they have feelings too, probably just as much as we do. And even if they don't comprehend the world the way we do, they're still sentient and they still deserve to not be our property. So I really hope that you go vegan, stay vegan, educate others. This was just three reasons why you should be vegan. There's so many more. So just educate yourself, Google it, all the reasons to be vegan. There are so many. So be vegan, make peace, go vegan, stay vegan, educate others about veganism. Claire is vegan and you should be too. And thank you to those who have liked my Facebook page and my Twitter. And I'll see you next time. Please be vegan. Thank you for your comments. Bye.